In this video, I want to show you my process for replicating a rare part. In this case, it's a front splash guard for a second gen EF Honda CRX. Stick with me as we go from original part, to digital asset, to full replica. If you're a vintage car enthusiast, someone with a project car, or just an older daily you're trying to keep up, you may eventually run into the problem of OEM parts no longer being available. At some point, the demand for certain model-specific parts drops and car manufacturers discontinue making them. For those of us who want or need those parts, the burden of recreating or manufacturing them falls on the community of enthusiast builders. Nowadays, the barrier to entry to manufacturing processes like 3D scanning and printing are relatively cheap and user-friendly enough to be done at home. But this isn't necessarily anything new. There are lots of car enthusiasts and companies out there making their own 3D printed parts at a scale that they can sell back to the community as aftermarket products, which is amazing. Makers like the OG, Greg Parts LLC, who keeps all of our sunroofs working with 3D printed bump stops and reproduces some of the rarer factory options like center consoles. EFB Motorsports, making some super stylish and functioning headlight intake ducts. Nathan Tech, for making lots of parts for many, many different Hondas. Project EKP, making turn signal intake ducts with a tease of a full spoiler coming soon. And last but not least, Honda CRX 3D Print making full replacement climate control shells. I'm sure I'm leaving some parts creators out of this list by accident, so please comment down below with links to more so I can add them to the video description to share with the community. One of the rarest parts I've personally sought after for my second gen Honda CRX are the coveted front splash guards. There is no decent aftermarket equivalent for these used OEM ones. When they do come up for sale, they are extremely expensive. In fact, in 2020, I bought a heavily used set of front splash guards for $150 on eBay. At the time, I thought I was way overpaying, but since then I've only seen one or two sets of front splash guards come up for sale and they were significantly more expensive. So to get a new pair of OEM style front splash guards, I'm going to have to make my own. Step 1. Acquire the part. So like I said, I bought my set of heavily used splash guards from eBay in 2020 for $150. I picked the one in best condition to use as the model for my part. Step 2. Photogrammetry, or 3D scanning with photos. Photogrammetry is the process of using computer software to construct a 3D model from a series of photographs. The software finds similar features across multiple photos and triangulates them into 3D space. It doesn't work well on reflective objects, so you can see here I painted the splash guard with matte tempera paint and gave it a splatter pattern so there are more distinct points to triangulate. And don't worry, the paint washes off in water. Step 3. Create a 3D model. I used a program called Reality Capture to process the photos. Like painting a car, this is where good results are all in the prep. A few mouse clicks and about 20 minutes of waiting, and the result is a rough 3D mesh that looks just like your splash guard. Now you wouldn't want to use this model directly. Its surface is rough and made up of millions of polygons, but it's a great starting place and reference for someone to create a CAD model from. Step 4. Design Brief I don't know how to do 3D modeling in AutoCAD or SolidWorks, so I put together a design brief package and reached out to multiple vendors on Fiverr who do CAD modeling and reverse engineering. Again, 
good prep made for good results. In a couple of weeks and $60 later, I had a clean 3D CAD model that I could 3D print to check proportions and fitment. Step 5. 3D Printing and Finishing My print volume was too small, so I had to break the model into three separate parts for printing. Ideally, with a large enough print volume, you'd print it all as one piece. It took about 20 hours of print time to finish the three pieces. I used super glue to join them back together. Step 6. Finishing. I could have printed the parts at a higher quality that would have resulted in a much smoother surface, but much longer print times. You can see the printed layer lines very clearly here, which I was hoping just for aesthetic purposes to smooth out a bit by coating the splash guard in plastic in it. I used four coats of black plastic dip and you can still clearly see the layer lines and the seams from where I glued the 3D parts together. I added a touch of white paint to make the letters pop and voila! It's like it came straight from the Honda factory. If you squint and stand back a ways. Step 7 possible manufacturing. In all seriousness though, this thing looks ridiculous. I'm actually surprised it turned out as good as it did since I didn't put much effort into the finishing. Had I used some body filler and really took the time to smooth out the layer lines and do some sanding, I think it could have looked a lot better. But it's definitely not something I'm going to actually be putting on my CRX. And you wouldn't want a rather fragile and rigid 3D printed part in place of a flexible rubberized splash guard. But this does prove that the CAD model fits well and could be ready for the next step, which would be to find a real manufacturer who could actually do a run of these as injected molded rubber splash guards. If anyone has experience with that sort of manufacturing process, or has any leads on reputable companies, please get in touch. Comment down below if you want a set if the time comes. Thanks for watching.